right so uh, for the past uh, for the last week at least i have reached lecture 9 and lecture 10 and uh, i'm a little shaky in lecture 9 uh, this talks about hr diagram star clusters and stellar stellar revolution and this one talks about the end yeah end points of stellar revolution right so i finished halfway through this presentation uh over the past week and i think i have the last bit of it left Yeah, so I had reached binary sources of energy. I had finished the main sequence of stars, and I think I had mentioned in my last video as well that I was somewhere around here, or I don't know if I did, but I'm somewhere around here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off from where did I actually stop? Differences. start off with the formation of planetary nebula and uh, from there on i'll finish this ppt there's about five slides left after this and then we can move on to the lecture 10 which has to do with end points and stellar revolution so yeah let's speed run through this So I finally just finished going over the ninth lecture. Uh, it was dragging out for quite some time, and I had hardly anything left. And I just got wrapped up quite quickly. Uh, and I was just going to start the tenth lecture, and then I saw that it's raining. Yeah, it looks really pretty outside, but uh, for too long because uh, I really want to go for some cycling today because I've been sticking to it for a week now, and I don't want to give that up because well, it's important. So. Let's wrap up with the tenth lecture quite quickly. There's a little bit left, and then I'll see what to do. Just got done with the tenth lecture. Finally, uh, this is just titled the tenth lecture, but it's just the tenth uh, PPT. of the entire thing because it's it goes per modules right so this is just the fifth module or fifth session of stuff and uh, this is the 10 ppt because per session there are two ppts to go through so hence 10 after there being five sessions having completed uh, this one was uh, all to do the end points of star revolution which i just mentioned the end points of stars and uh, it was actually quite interesting not much of numerical data mostly theoretical stuff about how uh, the core collapse of a star happens and how it uses to form heavier and heavier elements because initially it starts off very naively with hydrogen fusing to helium and in the end it ends with silicon fusing to iron which is not good because the second you reach iron in the star's core it is like well kaboom yes rico kaboom so so that happens uh but yeah so it was just 26 uh, uh, pages long because the previous one was like what 47 pages which was a pain to go through but this one was that the easier now what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap up right here uh for now with the studies part of it i'm going to go wash my face and i'm going to work out and see you after the workout a few moments later So just got done with the workout. Took a shower, had something to eat. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day. I think you know I've done quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna see probably tomorrow or whenever I make the next video. If this course picks up, gets more interesting, we'll stick with this one, and I'll probably explain a little bit more of what I'm doing rather than just staying and doing my stuff. Or if the other course, which is the exoplanets one, picks up, I'll probably see if we want to do that. So stick around. Uh, I'm gonna see if these videos work out. You know, the vlog kind of videos. I think I quite like filming them. Gives you an insight as to what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, I can make more content-based videos as well. So stick around for that, I guess. So I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, peace out.